Attention, everyone! I've got some fantastic news to share with you all today. If you're receiving Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, or Qualifying Via Disability Compensation Benefits, you're in for a treat. Brace yourselves, because a new bill has been signed into law, and it's about to put some extra cash in your pockets. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and fourth stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSI, SSDI, and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. Now, I know what you're thinking, another empty promise? Well, my friends, this time, it's the real deal. Thanks to the Emergency Support for Americans on Fixed Incomes Act of 2023, millions of Americans are about to receive a massive influx of funds to help them combat the relentless rise in cost. And we're not talking about chump change here. We're talking about a one-two punch of payments that'll leave you feeling like a million bucks. First up, we have the $4,875 cost of living support payment. This bad boy is set to be sent out to almost all Social Security retirement, SSI, SSDI, and qualifying via disability compensation recipients in June. But wait, there's more. As if that wasn't enough, you'll also be receiving a separate $2,200 essentials back pay payment, which is like a bonus to help you catch up on the inflation you've endured over the past two years. Now, let's break it down a bit further. If you're eligible for the full payment amounts, it depends on which government benefits program you're enrolled in. For those of you who are 65 and older and have been receiving Social Security retirement benefits for at least 12 months, you'll automatically get the $4,875 payment. And if you're a wife who qualifies, you'll receive a special payment too. Even if you've been getting retirement payments for less than a year, you'll still get a nice chunk of change. For those of you receiving SSI, which is the Supplemental Security Income Program for Low-Income Americans, you must have been getting payments for at least six months to receive the full $4,875. However, your family income can't exceed 150% of the federal poverty level, which is around $21,000 a year for an individual. If you go over this limit, your payments will be reduced accordingly. If you're an SSDI recipient, which stands for Social Security Disability Insurance, you must have received SSDI benefits for at least 12 months to get the full $4,875 payment. But here's the kicker. To receive the full amount, your family income must stay below $48,000 a year. If you're making up to $75,000, you'll still get a smaller payment, and a small amount of extra money from work can be added to your SSDI benefits. Now, for our veterans receiving VIA disability compensation, the amount of money you'll get is based on your level of disability. If you're 70% or more disabled, you'll receive the full $4,875, and if you're 30% to 60% disabled, you'll get $2,400. Aside from your disability rating, there are no other income boundaries or job requirements. If you're still qualified for any of these programs through June, the $4,875 payments should start rolling in within the first two weeks of the month. But don't expect the money to arrive on June 1 right away. The government agencies are deliberately spreading the deposits out over several days and weeks to avoid overloading the payment processing channels. For those of you receiving Social Security payments, the first payouts will begin on June 1, based on your date of birth. If you were born between the 1 and 10 of your birth month, you should get your money by June 4. If you were born between the 11 and 20, you'll receive your payment by June 8. And for those born between the 21 and 31, your $4,875 should arrive by June 10. The deadline is even shorter for our veterans receiving VIA disability benefits. Payments for different types of disabilities will be spread out over a short period, from June 5 to June 9. If you're an SSI recipient, who uses a Direct Express debit card, you'll have your $4,875 deposited into your account within the first four workdays of June. However, there's still no clear date for those of you who have active bank accounts. As for SSDI recipients, 
The Social Security Administration has only given a rough estimate that payments will begin to be sent out around June 5 and should be fully handled by June 15. The good news is, no matter when the money arrives in early June, you won't have to do anything extra to claim these payments. The $4,875 in cost of living support money should automatically go into the same bank account, debit card, or other payment method you use to get your monthly Social Security, SDISI, or V, a disability benefit. It should be a smooth process for the vast majority of people. But that's not all, folks. Next up are the $2,200 bonus payments, which are set to come in July or August. These will be on top of your regularly planned benefit deposits, and they're meant to help make up for the inflation or back pay that you've lost over the last two years. Again, the arrival of these funds will happen on more than one date to ensure everything goes smoothly. With over $7,000 in extra money coming your way in the next couple of months, the burning question on everyone's mind is, what's the best way to spend this windfall? And how can I make it have the biggest impact on my overall finances? Well, fear not, my friends, because I've consulted with financial advisors, consumer advocates, public policy experts, and recipient groups to bring you the best ideas and strategies. One of the top recommendations for many experts is to build up your emergency savings and pay off any debts that may be adding to your financial burdens. By tackling those pesky debts, you'll be freeing up more of your hard-earned money for other essential expenses. Some experts also suggest using a portion of these funds to make your home more accessible or even invest in a pension to ensure you have a steady stream of income in the future. However, one piece of advice that stood out for most people on a limited income is the importance of paying off your past due bills and getting your finances back on track. As David Sertner, AARP's Legislative Council on Economic Security, puts it, costs have gone up a lot across the board, from housing and utilities to prescriptions and insurance premiums. The truth is, far too many older Americans have been falling behind lately through no fault of their own. By paying off past due bills that have been holding them back, these payments give them a crucial chance to start over and get back on track. In addition to meeting basic needs, other experts also say that it's perfectly acceptable to treat yourself after a couple of very hard pandemic years. As Amy Noel of the Nonprofit Wise Paths Advisor Network suggests, there's nothing wrong with using a small amount of these funds, maybe $500, to finally go visit family, take a short holiday, and have some fun. Beneficiaries who have been stuck at home on tight budgets for the past few years have been mentally draining. They might benefit from some guilt-free spending on their mental health. Dave Fro, a financial planner who specializes in government benefits, offers this advice to those receiving these payments. This is basically a booster shot. The funds are meant to supplement, not replace, your normal benefit streams. Instead of spending it all at once, it's better to let it grow into wealth that lasts for a long time. Putting the money toward a few different goals, such as building up an emergency fund, paying off bills, covering medical costs, and enjoying some well-deserved treats, can help it last longer and have more positive effects. To ensure you get all the benefits you're entitled to, it's crucial to keep a close eye on your payment channels during the planned delivery windows in June and possibly July and August. Check your bank statements, the amount on your direct express card, or any other place you usually receive benefits. If you think you should have received money from the Social Security Administration, the VA, or another agency, but haven't, get in touch with the appropriate federal agency right away. It's also essential to be on the lookout for any scams or attempts at theft that might involve these new payments. As the National Council on Aging warns, representatives should never call you and ask you to pay a fee or give them private information in order to get your benefits. If something seems fishy or too good to be true, it most certainly is. All payments should go through normal channels immediately, and you shouldn't have to do anything extra. If you find this video valuable, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update's all things related stimulus.